BC lost 65% of its offensive production with Bowman's exit, Jordan Chapman's exit, and the injury to Winston Tabs that we'll get into. And the baseline jumper for Wake Forest right off the bat. That's great work on the defensive glass that time by Saar. Childress from Eusius. And he nails it. Good range for the big fella. The rebound for Sharon Wright. His father was a star at Clemson. Eusius from the baseline. Had his opportunities uh, down low on the block or on the wing. As they hold for the last shot of the half. Here's your guy, and he hits the three. Good call, Malcolm Huckabee. And Isaiah Musius with a lift. In the first half, but subtle adjustments made by Wake Forest on both ends, Malcolm. As Musius drives towards the rack. Last year, Asheville played a ton of zone. This year, they're playing a lot more man. Brown dumps inside for the layup. An offense to at some point, and you'll enjoy watching it. Could cause Wake Forest problems on the defensive end. They trap, find an open man, and Sean D. Brown delivers. What this does now for UNC Asheville, they can really apply some more pressure. They did a good job, throw it over the top. Finish. So UNC Asheville in foul trouble, but battling here, looking for their first ever win. Bat sold it, and now Childers has had four fouls. Too much dribbling by Baker. Lucius. Active hands. Triple A getting the penetration. Hands are active. Everybody's on the string defensively. Nice unselfish play right there. Nice pass and ahead one. and one. Decision and he's not getting very much help from his teammates coming over to rotate. Isaiah Musius has not seen a lot of the basketball, but he knocks down a triple to get Wake back within eight. Four of them are in double figures. Wild miss, but looking to clean it up, and Isaiah Musius has a chance at an and one. And here come the Demon Deacons. Brown, one man to beat. And Musius tries to follow. He gets it back, and this time hits in the foul. The big rebound, the push. He misses the layup. Musius right there. Along with Childress, White, Musius, and Saar. Good pass from Isaiah Musius and Olivia Saar and slams it home. And, and Trey McGowan can get to their right hand, forces the collapse. They're doing a good job of being able to dump off that last time. Then you get the ball over. Eric Hamilton. Bounce back game for Hamilton, what Pittsburgh was looking for. Childress. The shot by Childress, no one putting the body on uses and him come, coming out and just going up top. And you see again, you only got to turn around and gain rebound, and how about? Coming off the win against Louisville. Wanted his team to validate that victory on the road out of the corner. It's a three. Musius. Gets the pass off. Nice give for the stuff. Musius with his first basket. Least favorite shot of all. One foot inside the line. Deflection, but Musius comes down with it. Skip pass to White for three. Cross floor pass leads to a three and it's buried again. Right back to Curran Scott, double team comes. Passes out of it, it's loose and Wake Forest has it. Morsell have become a little bit more trigger shy. This guy's still confident in pursuing the next make. 
This is from the corner with a three-pointer. He's been quiet so far. 13-13. Clark running the point six assists per game, but he gives that one away. They were they were getting buried in this game, but since they had four points in the opening 11 minutes, they've scored 21. And those points continue, and Musias has given them a really nice lift. 150 to go in the overtime. Musias got it! Boy, a huge three. Danny Manning in the Deeks. Again, without Sean D. Brown, he could play in an emergency situation, but I think they would rather not. Here's Musias from the corner. Hits the three. I said earlier, he just hasn't he hasn't come around yet, but man, he, what a good start he's off to here tonight. Musis again this time from the elbow. Hubble looks to push. Good look to Mooney. Blocks. Hub pulls the board though. Fluger. Ten point advantage for Notre Dame. Sar. Got good position. The pass was a little bit off. He's able to come back and make the bucket. Musias attacks the rim and gets the bucket to go. The lead is down to three. Musias has quite a bit of length. Sophomore out of the state of New York. Off the pass from Torrey Johnson. Musias sticks to three. Off the power dribble. Musias again. It's halfway to ten. Great move starting him in the second half. He came right out and drove it. You know, he's made a couple threes. They had two total points See, in the first half. They've owned this half. This is what I said about Williams. It's all Wake Forest coming out of the shoot here in the second half. They are now only down by three. And another turnover. Wake Forest had it for a moment. Now they have it. We're taking that free throw battle. Now 11 for 15 from the free throw line. And being more aggressive attacking the basket here to start the second half. Musius falling down still. Hits it the Devils can't get to go. Yeah, two missed layups by the two best players for the Blue Devils earlier in this game, and that's encouraging for Wake Forest, but they've got to capitalize, and there's the gods and Musis. Johnson slicing through. Childress trying to get back inside. Nifty pass and a foul in. He's headed for the line, an outstanding play. From their veteran players, from their upperclassmen, that includes Justin Robinson, Jack White, Javin Delarie, and these guys when they get their opportunities do their best to take advantage of them so duke up 48 44 second half 16 38 to go downstairs on the fall away and a nice touch there the two possession game with that missed free throw jones lost the handle on it he gave it away well, a rare mistake for him getting bottled up got the pass free to masood they find Musis for the dunk. Shot clock is at five. Game clock inside of 50 seconds. Then the shot. Musis money. It's a two. Like his second personal. Here's the loss. And he just had to, had to get the ball up by the rim. Randolph scored over 2,200 points in his career. Here's the look. I mean, they, they've done such a great job of getting in the ball where you can score. And Wake, here's the starting lineup. Freshman with the ball is Jacoby Meath. He gets the start tonight. And the first bucket of the game is delivered by Isaiah Musius. Overs and Sar the same for Wake Forest. A little high low action. Good dunk inside. But Musius, a while to figure out he's wide open. <laughs> he laid it home. Positive contributions in the first half tonight. Wasn't able to get the bucket to go. High low and miscommunication from Pierce and Garrison Brooks results in a Carolina turnover. And the Demon Deacons trying to sweep the season series from North Carolina, but in a little bit of trouble, or actually a lot of trouble, down nine with under three to play. Last time these two teams played, NC State buried 12 threes. Brown for Isaiah Musius. And he'll hit the fall away. Back door to catch Funderburg. Oh, had it deflected. Musius. Here's Wake trying to get an easy one. Childress, some nice feed. Saw the catch. And now Brandon from the corner. The coach did, Mom. He's Italian. Yep. Pretty big three minutes here for Danny Manning's team as Neath cuts one loose and hits. Against the Tar Heels in the loss to Carolina by 10 the other night. 
intend to shoot, and they tried the entry to Thunderbird, batting away Musius. Who's worked his way into the starting lineup here down the stretch. Musius will sling it, and a hook shot up and in by maybe the most talented guy on the floor, Olivier Saw. Hasn't hit double figures. They're going to need him to be a confident performer this afternoon. Well, their offense has been troublesome all season long. Musius with an absolute bottom of the barrel three. going to be hungry to try and get some going the other way. Neath on the attack, finds the open Musius, and he'll drop in the three-pointer. Sar once again setting up on the edge of the lane, but down the lane comes Musius, and he will take the foul as well. Musius has remained aggressive. They have to respect the jumper. He's going to take it to the 10, play through the contact. And something after he drained that three when he came to the other end, like, you got to make sure you get me the ball. He goes up for the block, so he's doing it on both ends. Sar will kick it. Childress off balance. Drains it anyway. Makes some pay. And then how about defensively? Hasn't been much resistance when the Panthers get to the rim. That was the exception as Musias gets that block. Panthers are going to need that stroke to keep them in this one. Musias jumping in the paint. Scoops it up there. And of course it's going to go down as he made the shot. College basketball life is on the line for this season. And Musias, jersey number one.